Hello, this is Zachary Hart from Connected Camps, also known as Zaxxon825, here to teach you about OBS, how to install it, and how to start recording your screen and make Minecraft videos. So OBS is this awesome open source uh, free screen capture program, also used for streaming. Um, unfortunately, I do not have a good enough computer to stream, but I can teach you how to uh, install OBS. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website, obsproject.com. And once you get there, you're going to see on the front page, uh, open broadcaster software. You're going to see two downloads, one for OBS Classic and Get OBS Studio. Now, for the purposes of this video, I highly recommend, and we are going to be covering how to install um, OBS Studio. Because OBS Studio is significantly easier to use compared to classic OBS. Um, it's available for Windows 7, 8, and 10, Mac OS X, and Linux, for all of you Linux people out there. So once you get the, the, download that, and then you'll have an installer, and it's super easy. You just click Next, Next, Next. You're going to have a window that looks like this. So as you can see right now, we have a kind of endless mirror effect here. When you start it, it's going to probably be a black screen. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I get my desktop to show up on here? Well, on this area, it's called Sources. Um, you see, it, for you, it will be blank. But for me, you can see that I have an audio output capture, an audio input capture, and a display capture. So to add an audio source, what you do is you click this plus button here. And you say audio input capture if you want to capture a microphone. So you click that. Uh, say create new. And then usually it's just your default device. Um, I just realized here that it added it onto here. So I am not exactly sure if it necessarily doubled my volume. If so, I apologize. I'll mute that right now. Um, so... You can choose the device that you want to use here. Um, my default microphone is the one that I am using. You could change it in your system settings, or you can find the microphone that you are using if it is not the default in this drop-down list. So I'll just cancel that for now. Um, and I'll delete this for now. You can delete sources with the minus button here. Yes. Um, you can also record audio that comes directly from the game which is obviously something that you are really going to want if you are recording videos in Minecraft. So to do that, you simply hit the plus button again and say audio output capture. Create new. And again, choose where the sound is coming from. Um, in this case, I would want it to come, I want to choose the default device. But if you have it coming out of your monitor and you want to capture that noise, you might want to find the source here. So I'll just cancel that. And we will subtract that. So now that you got your audio set up, the next thing you want to do is to add a video input. So what you're going to want to do is hit the plus sign and say display capture or window capture. So when you say display capture, it's just going to capture the entire display. Now, in my case, I have more than one monitor. So um, you probably will want to start with display zero or display one, depending on what monitor that you use. If you only have one monitor, there's only going to be one um, option in this drop down menu. So if you click that then hit OK, then you should see your entire screen here. So we're going to test this out on recording. So to start recording, you hit this button that says start recording. It will say start recording for you. But for me, it says stop recording because I'm actually recording this on OBS. So I can teach you about it. So I'm going to move this to my other monitor. And I am going to open up Minecraft. So as you can see here, Minecraft is running and I am recording it. You can make a full screen or maximize it so that you can get more of and you can maximize it so that you can 
get the entire screen here. You can hit the full screen key so that you can record it in full screen. Then what you can do is... Um, uh, I'm going to try connecting to our server, and it's not going to let us work because the server is not open at this time. Actually, let's go into a single-player world so I can show you about what I'm doing. Okay, so something important to note here. Um, in order to ensure that you have a smooth frame rate while playing... Well, not while playing the game, but during the video, um, you want to do a game capture and not a display capture. If you do a display capture, it's going to be extremely jittery, and it's probably going to make you sick, because it did make me sick. Um, so, I would recommend doing a game capture, so it will automatically... Uh, it will automatically detect if a game is running on full screen, and then when it runs on full screen, um, it will start recording the game, and it'll record it at a much smoother frame rate than if you were to use a display capture. So just something to note um, while recording on OBS. So now that you have recorded your video, you will you can find the videos that you have recorded inside of settings, and then if you go to output, it will say recording path, and then it'll give you the exact location of where it is storing all these videos. And in my case, I created a separate folder in my native videos folder called captures, and it is saving them into there. Fortunately, I cannot play that right now because I am currently recording to that file, but that is where you can access your videos if you want to. So, you can also adjust your settings of the quality of your videos by clicking output, and you can change the quality of the recording. You can have it be set the same as stream, uh, high quality, <clears throat> indistinguishable quality, or lossless quality. Now, huge, huge warning here. The, <clears throat> the better quality that you choose will drastically increase the file size. So you do not, probably do not want to use these higher qualities unless you have some sort of external hard drive to save these videos on. And a very large external hard drive at best. So that you can store the highest quality videos without trying hogging up all the space on your computer. And with that, you are ready to go. It is super easy and super simple, and it works on all platforms. Um, thank you for watching this video, and I hope that this helped you out a lot. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more about Connected Camp's free kid club, then go to www.connectedcamps.com or click on any of the social media links on the screen right now.